Today we will be talking about how to design research, uh, particularly a research proposal, how to make a proposal, execute and to an extent how to communicate research. The learning objectives of this topic would be how do you select a research project? That would be the first. Followed by, I would also be talking about what are the processes of quality research. We do lots of research, let's say in pharmaceutical institutions. Many, many students would be graduating with masters and a few number would be graduating with a PhD. They are all performing research. Yet the question comes, how do I design, how do I propose, how do I do research? So there are certain very basic fundamental principles that guide quality of research. So we'll be talking about initially about what are those principles or attributes that would help you do quality research. Now having said that it's research, quality research, the fundamental question is how do I start a research project? How do I propose a research project? What do I do literature search on? So I would also be talking about the importance of literature search in research and also how to develop a good habit of how to read and analyze a research paper that is published in literature. And during your master's or bachelor's programs, you do have things like uh, journal club. And in fact, journal club is designed to help you not only to learn how to do a literature search, but also to analyze literature. So by participating in journal clubs and doing the journal club in the right way, it is supposed to be done you would uh, develop a critical sense of how to read and evaluate literature. Then from the literature, you could judge or you could decide what kind of a research proposal you would be doing. Once you know the research proposal, you know, this, this is a, a topic, a subject for your research, then you have to design research objective, set up a few research objectives, and then make a statistical design around the research objective to prove or disprove your objective. And based on that, you, you build a research proposal. The research proposal would also talk about not only the objective, but how you would actually go about executing the research to see whether your objectives are met with or your objectives are attained. When we talk about execution of a research proposal, then you have to bring in research methodology, research execution and research management, data generation and data analysis. How to draw conclusions out of those data that you generated. So something like, how do you compile the data? How do you analyze the data? How do you decide whether you have the right amount of data? It's not only the amount of the data, but it's also whether how do, how do you decide whether you have the right data. And ultimately, after getting the data and analyzing it, then you have to communicate the outcome of your research to the scientific world. And that is what is uh, research uh, scientific communications, which you write to either as a poster presentation or an abstract or, or a oral presentation or as a full paper. But fundamental to all this, how would you communicate your research, your research findings in one page, in a few words, about 250 words max? How do you, you know, uh, communicate your research in the form of an abstract? All these things comprise of the learning objectives of this particular session.